Are you manually tracking your artist's social media follower counts every week and wish that it could be done automatically? If so, this video is for you. My name is Max Bernstein and we are Industry Automations and we make custom Airtable bases for music industry clients. This is part two of a two part series. Part one will be linked right here if you haven't seen it. And let's dive right in. All right, back to our base. You recall we had implemented an automation in the last video that basically brought in or created a new record every week for each of our artists' TikTok channels to be tracked in a new table called social media followers. Now we need to trigger Appify to go and fetch the follower count from each of these URLs every time a new record is created, such that every seven days as a new record enters this view, it goes and it fetches it, comes back, puts the information into this column here. So what do we need? Appify account and a Zapier account. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do, open up Appify. Once you're here, click on Actors, Create New, select Web Scraper, and then click into it. I've already done this, so I'm just gonna get right in. We're gonna create an empty task. And we're gonna retitle it. We're gonna call this one TikTok Followers for IA Demo. And we'll say created this during lesson 10. All right. So the first question they're going to ask you here is which URL are you going to scrape? So let's find a TikTok account. In this case, Selena Gomez. Paste that right in there. Now, at this section, you're going to want to just delete it. This section, you're going to want to exit out. And then you're going to get to this code section. And you're going to delete lines 11 all the way through 24. And then you're going to delete lines 14 all the way through 17, such that it looks like this. You're going to come back up here, hit enter, and you're going to start typing. Now, this is actual code. I'll put it in the description for you. But it basically is a line of code that factors in the CSS selector from TikTok. So in this case, if we open up developer tools, I just hit command shift C to get there. And we click on the follower number that we want. You'll see it shows you the CSS selector, which is this data E2E follower count situation. So we have to configure that information with a little more code. And then that's how we tell it what to scrape for us. So we're gonna call it num followers. That's gonna be the variable that we, we call it. You can call it anything you want. And then we're gonna start typing in this code. So dollar sign, All right, now let's get in here. Now we're gonna put .txt at the end, and then we're gonna get ourselves in here and we're gonna start typing in that CSS selector. E, two, E, caret, equals, followers, count. Boom, I think we got it. Clear up that little space there. And why don't we make this production? Doesn't necessarily matter in this case, but we'll make it in production mode versus development mode. And let's save it. Now let's start it. Now, if all is going well, we're gonna to start to see some computing power register on this graph here. Fingers crossed. There we go. So at the moment, the computer is using what? 
thousand megabytes, so one gigabyte, two and a half gigabytes. Let's see how much higher it has to go. Yeah, so it peaked out at about two and a half gigabytes. You can see the memory over here being used. Boom, has ended. Let's wait for the storage thing to populate. Should change to a one in a second. There we go. Click storage. Click preview. Boom, there you go. 57.7 million followers. So now that we've configured the actor and the task correctly, we have to trigger from Zapier. So head into Zapier, open up a new Zap. Let's call this Scrape TikTok Followers IA Demo. The trigger is going to be from Airtable. It's going to be when a new record is created. Sometimes my Zapier gets stuck. Let's just refresh. Okay. Choose an account. It's got my account selected already. Let's choose the base, which is going to be industry records. I'm fairly sure we're working off of the last one here. The base is going to be social. media followers and there's no limit to the view continue now we're going to test the trigger and it's going to pull back you know one of these because these are the ones that are there okay yeah pat the gem so in this case we have this pat the gem tiktok account representing share so let us Continue. So we found the record. Then we want to take an action. The action is going to be app. Okay. In the Actify, we are going to run a task. Okay. Connect. Sorry, it connected my Appify account. You'll have to probably do that the first time. Let me go back to that. See, it says my Appify account. You'll want to go back and do that for yourself. The task is going to be TikTok followers for IA demo. You saw that? All right. Run synchronously. I believe we want that to say yes. And then we want to input the JSON override. So here we come back to our task. And you see this is where we had kind of written that line of code. We want to click this button here, switch to JSON editor, click into here, highlight it all, copy. Paste, and we see that this is where it's searching for Selena Gomez, but we don't want it to search for Selena Gomez, we want it to search for the URL from the trigger, so we delete that, come down here, Search for more options, and there you go. We wanted to search for that. So let's continue. Let's test this action. Now, while it's being tested, let's open up another uh, task. Go back to Airtable for this. We're going to update record. While this is waiting, let's go back to the task. Let's see if it worked. How did the test come out? Come on, baby. There we go. Number of followers, 15,600. If you don't believe me, let's click. There you go. Path the gem, 15,600. Okay. 
we're back. Update Airtable, again, sticking for me for a second, so let's just refresh. The base is going to be industry records, that last one again. The table is social media followers. Now, how do we identify the record? From the trigger. Trigger is here. Record ID. Continue. Oh. Refresh fields. And what we want is to put the follower count from the Appify task into Airtable. That's this number right here. Dataset items num followers. Boom. Continue. Let's test it. Now while it's testing, let's go here. You see it pop up right there. Boom. Come on, people. This is automations. Let's get excited. All right. So that is it. Let's publish this. And then let's test one start to finish. So let's go back to artists. Let's do, let's do this. Let's delete all these records that we brought in yesterday. Let's delete this one. Let's go back to artists. Okay. Remember T1 and T2 are the mechanisms we're using to trigger. So let's say in this case, Jay-Z, in order to get T2 to equal today, therefore a record in social media followers to get created, we need to make T1 three, 23, I believe. Yep. Now watch, this is going to run. It's going to then update the date to 330. Now we come back in here. Jay-Z is now a record that's been created. And we're going to sit here and wait as long as it takes. It might be three minutes. I'll speed it up for you guys, no problem. But you're going to see with your own eyes this follower count get filled in by the automations that we just created in Zapier using Appify. While we're waiting, I'm gonna change this from number to single line text. This way, what you're going to do is you're going to get that K. It's going to come in as 15.6 K. And just to speed it up, there you go. 56.7 K for Cami SP. Boom. 56.7 K. <laughs> That's the video, people. Now, you might be wondering, great, well, what do I do with this 56.7K? How do I turn that string of characters into a number that's useful for me that I can then chart growth about and that I can use in formulas and stuff like that? That will be the next video. This is Max Bernstein with Industry Automations. We help music industry clients build custom Airtable bases to automate their work. Use the link in the description to book a meeting if you think that we can help each other. And that's it. Thanks a lot.